Hey there, hello there, hello there, it's Jeff Cutter Dog, welcome to the Championship Sunday. It is the 2024 Tournament Ace 90s starting at Pebble Beach, and we have Colin Montgomery and Hal Sutton going for the title. The Rhodes to get in, Montgomery. His first round match was against Wayne Levi of the U.S. Had a very good match against Levi. And then in the second round, he faced Fred Couples, who is a tough opponent in a stretch form. It was a tight match. Then in the third round, he faced Keith Fergus. Keep him to a couple of holes. Round of 16 against Jim Gallagher. He had to win on 18 to force the playoff, which he won in the first one. And then in the quarterfinals, he took on the great Tom Watson. Started off fast, bore up through the first seven holes and kept momentum. In the semis against Tom Lehman, he won the last four holes in a row, so he's kind of streaky. Streaky bacon. How sudden on the other paw. His first round opponent is Larry Ma was Larry Mize. Only one hole in the front nine. The first nine was taken, and that was by Mize. Sudden used the back nine to his advantage. And then he faced Jack Renner. And actually had a three up lead through the first nine and nearly choked it because Brenner won on 18, but thankfully Sutton won on the third playoff hole. And then in the round of 32 against Nolan Hankey, he had a tight match, but he proved himself good. And then in the round of 16, he took on Sir Nick Faldo and had a great back nine, giving up only one hole. Quarterfinal against. Ross Cochran proving that Cinderella's don't do anything. He did his job. And in the semifinals against Andrew McGee, another Cinderella, he used the front nine to his advantage. So will, who will it be, Monty or Sutton, who will be the first champion of 2024? Monty goes first. And he will go right center. Sutton. Second shot. A little bit to the right. Not really the best shot in the world. Sudden up will try to get something going. Monty trying to get on the green in two. And he kind of does and doesn't. Same time for Sudden. Just get close to that pin. Got it. Monty. For the hole. Yeah, he missed by four feet, but that's okay. He'll make his shot sudden. He'll make his. Tied for one. On to two. Seven. Sudden to the right hand side, two, nine, four. Second shots. Up and over. Oh, wow. How did Monty do that? Sudden. Nope. Not even close. Sudden will be wide of the mark. He needs his part putt. Eddie overshoots. Monty for the hole. Puts it in. Three, so Monty strikes first. So Monty trying to do his job. Great center, nice job. Just remember, whoever wins this match will go to Augusta for the year-end tournament. Oh, sudden hits the bunker. But like, okay, if Monty if Monty wins this match, Monty can still compete in other tournaments because. He, it's, if you lose, if you win two tournaments, you're out for the whole year. Because you got to give people a chance. There's sudden for the whole. How did he do that? What a shot to tie the match. And now the winds have picked up a little bit. You'll be hearing the wind sound effect, but after this, we'll go to the. Um, Summary and whoa! What the heck, Monty? Well, yeah, if you win two events in the same year, you're out for the rest of after you hit two, you're out for the rest of the year. To give other people a chance. You'll still go to Augusta for the year at tournament. Sudden so that wasn't even close. For par. But what a shot! How did he do that? Monty has to make his shot for par. He does. That would have been huge if Sudden won that hole. So, yeah, on to five. Oh, yeah, I forgot to shut that down for the sound effect. Monty? Yeah, he 
you hit the bunker. Send for birdie. Yeah, five feet away. Monty's got to get very close to the pin. I don't think that's close to the pin. Par. Nope, he botched it. I'll give Sun a golden chance to get the hole, which he does, like the summary, because we don't want that win with the sound effect. It's annoying. Sudden has the lead now, through five, on the six. And Monty, is he in the bunker? No, he's close, but Monty's second shot it is a part of five, child. Sudden, he's going to get on the green in two. Usually you don't see people get on the green in two in a part five. Monty does that. Sudden for the for eagle. Oh yes. Well Monty has a chance for birdie. Gets it. That's a key birdie because sudden would have been up by two. Now the winds have picked up again. Hey grief, now we have to hear this sound effect again. The winds have really picked up. The pin is right. Near the front of the green. Monty will get on the green. That's the good news. For Bernie. Oh, he misses by a few feet. Sudden. Oh, man, that ball got away from him. Par. Oh. Yeah, sudden's like cow. And Monty will win the hole and tire. I do not want to hear that sound effect. It's distracting. Monty and Sudden are tied through seven. Winner moves on to Augusta for the year end tournament next year. And but the bad news is they will not be in any more match plays. We were doing match plays, and that falls in the water. We want clarity. So whoever wins this matchup will not there's three more match plays in this whole thing. He hit the ball with more gusto. There you go. Just like Sudden did. Saved you a lot of headaches. For the hole. Got it. There you go. Sudden will win the hole. It doesn't matter how many strokes you get. In match play, you have to be your opponent's in strokes. Doesn't matter how crappy your stuff is surfing and yamming and all of that. Set shots. Up and over. Monty. He's now two up. How sudden? Well, Monty went on two and seven. Sudden on three, five, eight, nine. Sudden's two up. He better finish the job. He's had a few close calls. Finishing the job. Monty. Monty's losing his stroke. He's losing it, Jake. He's losing it, Jake. Sudden. That's a water hazard? Oh, I guess he went overshot. That's not how you wanted to do that. I think Sudden got a little bit too ahead of himself. Monty does that. For bogey. Well, you missed. Sudden still has a chance to win the hole. Got it. So how Sudden looks pretty good. And a lot of people said, oh, well, Whoever wins the sudden McGee match is definitely the underdog and will probably lose. Well, if you want to bet on the underdog, this might be the one, right underdog for you. Here comes Monty. Yes, it's golden. Nice shot. 
sudden. Yeah, I don't know. Up and right there is sudden for the hole. Oh, yeah. Ah, it's sudden missed the shot. Monty has a chance. Yee, makes it. Monty. And the winds are strong still. But until further notice, they are going to be strong. Until someone tells me, hey, the winds are not that strong anymore. Up and over. I think he's okay. The par. Mm -hmm. Monty gets the hole. Now the depth sits down to one. Oh, one's changing to my head. Ah, why didn't it give me the stupid sound effect? I don't want to hear it. So the winds have died down a little bit. Monty's now one up. I mean, one down, excuse me. Sudden's so got to keep his cool. Monty, Monty, Monty. Sudden. What is with that shot? Left it. The park. Still with a shot. Well, Monty's got a booty play. Which he puts down, and guess what? We're tied for 13. Sudden has just blown a 3 up lead. Montgomery with one of the greatest comebacks around so far. There's still five holes left. Oh, and Sutton went wide left. And he is in deep trouble. Monty. He will settle up and he'll pitch from 63. Up and over. Well, on the green. Sutton. Monty, let's see how close he can get. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice beat. Sudden will go for birdie. He could lag. But he's like, I don't think Monty's going to make a shot. And he doesn't. Sudden's going to make his nine footer. Got it. Monty's going to make his shot. He does. Keep going. On to 15. I think we'll get to 17, right? Yeah, we'll see at least 17. Okay. Okay, man. Up and over. Oh, oh. Down a little bit. Monty. Loved it. He loved it, Pa. Could have had more distance for the hole. Oh, sudden just missed. Monty's going to make the six footer. He does. So, on the 16. Sudden does that. Second shot. Monty. Escapes Bum Bunker. Sudden. Escapes everything. And let's see this shot by Monty. I don't know. Sudden. For par. Oh my gosh, he missed. And sudden. Did he just miss a two footer? He just did. How the hell did you miss a two footer? And you had. Momentum going to the 17. Monty points the finger trap. Sudden. He's on the green. Let's see where Monty lands. Monty is he close enough to put the pressure on Sudden. Yeah, 10 feet. Sudden's going to putt. Why not? I think he loved it. Yes, yeah, sudden flop that he should have lagged. I know. Monty for the hole. Got it. And that two foot miss might haunt sudden forever. That's it. Would have given him a one up lead at 17. On 18. 
Our team just has to play it safe and pray that Sutton fucks up. Well, I think that's the icing of the cake. How Sutton missed a two-footer that would have gotten the hole on the 17. Yeah, how Sutton has lost the... This has got to be one of the worst jokes ever. Monty hits the bunker. Not out of bounds, so... Monty's got this. Wow. This has got to be one of the worst chokes I've ever seen. And Monty's going to be right there. I think Monty would have been okay. Yeah, I think Monty would have hit the birdie one. Well, Colin Montgomery is your champion. What a job he did against Sutton. How Sutton was up by three with eight to play. Set, that was the only hole the 10th that Sutton won on the back nine. Monty won the front nine. And one of the worst chokes I've ever seen. How Sutton, three up through with eight to go. Loses on 11, 12, 13. Halves on 14, 15, and 16. And then lost on 17 and 18. Unbelievable. How did Monty just prove himself worthy? And he did it. Colin Montgomery wins. He was the only non-American in the quarterfinals. And yet, one out of eight chance for a more foreigner to win, 12% chance, and he pulls off the odds to win three straight matches to beat the odds. If you bet on that parlay, you'll be huge. How Sutton missed a two-footer on the 16th would have, would have won in the hole. He's one up, and maybe Montgomery wins 17-18 and wins the match. But at least he would have to work for it, and Sutton would not have that two-foot haunting miss. He had one in the semifinals. And it didn't cost him. But now he got one in the finals and it cost him. So a gigantic victory for Colin Montgomery. He is the 80s, 90s champion. At Augusta, I mean, at Pebble Beach, he'll go to Augusta at the year end tournament. He will not be take part in the three match plays in April, August, and December. But that's okay. He's going to Augusta. That's all that counts. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.